in this video I am going to show you how you can add a subdomain using the Namecheap hosting cPanel. Recently in 2023 there has been an update in the cPanel user interface. Now there is no subdomain option in the cPanel. But don't worry it is quite easy to add just slightly different recently I added the subdomain just let me show you square.thasbirwebsolutions.com you see and this subdomain is from my primary domain thasbirwebsolutions.com okay see this is my main domain and this one square.thasbirwebsolutions.com is a subdomain square.thasbirwebsolutions.com uh, I have also have another subdomain uh, under this domain name which is called handyman.thasbirwebsolutions.com you see over here handyman.thasbirwebsolutions.com so I use each subdomain for different purposes for different for building different websites so the best uh, thing about using subdomains that you do not um, need to purchase different domain names for different purposes for building different apps or websites okay so that's the main advantages of using subdomains um, okay now let me just show you how you can add a subdomain so what I'm going to do I'm going to add another uh, subdomain under this domain name thasbirwebsolutions.com called sample thasbirwebsolutions.com okay so then what you need to do you need to log into your Namecheap account then you need to go to hosting okay and then uh, I'm going to uh, add the subdomain to this hosting which I have then I'm going to click on go to cPanel I'm going to log into cPanel using my Namecheap account okay it is redirecting me to the cPanel interface okay now what I'm going to I'm going to scroll down and you see over here uh, before there used to be a subdomain option but uh, but now there is uh, there is no the subdomain option over here so that's uh, causing a lot of confusion but it's very easy I need to click on domains and then and then I need to click on add create a new domain okay okay great so now what you need to do I need to copy this okay copy and I need to paste this okay the, the DNS label must contain only the following so what I need to do I need to just remove this parts over here hashtag HTTPS and I also need to slash this slash over here okay now uh, you see this domain already exists in the account so what I need to do I need to add the subdomain sample s a m p l e sample dot thasbirwebsolutions dot com okay sample dot thasbirwebsolutions dot com and share the document okay fine so this is the they will create a directory sample thasbirwebsolutions dot com okay I will submit this it can take a moment so I will just scroll down and I see sample.thasbirwebsolutions.com already added I can also check the folder over here ok ok and uh, now the main thing is that but if you visit now uh, let me just check over here click over here 
but you see this error over here this side can be reached okay uh, you will see this over here the main thing is that it takes some time for it to propagate and connect to the properly connect the domain name okay that's it, it takes some time another thing is that if you see if you're using a kind of CDN like Cloudflare then you need to make some additional changes which I'm going to show you right now so uh, I kept getting this error like for more than two days then what I did I contacted the name chips support the hosting support or the name chip support in general so what they suggested me that I need to add an additional record type a record with the name of my subdomain and the IP address of my shared hosting okay so this so this is my Cloudflare interface so I have added these sites in the Cloudflare and you see that this is the domain name the under which I have added the sample.thasbirwebsolutions.com okay I need to go over here and then I need to click under DNS and then click over here records okay records okay now what I need to do I need to add an a record okay a record I will need click need to click over here add record the type of the record should be a and you see what kind of subdomain I added remember sample s a m p l e sample so I go over here and type in sample and then ip4 address okay so you go to cpanel to your cpanel okay and then you uh, click over here the cpanel logo and over here you see shared ip address in your cpanel you will find this over here shared ip address so let me just double check it okay yes in your cpanel you just copy this and in cloudflare you paste this okay or in another cdn if you are using another CDN, then you can follow the same procedure. Okay, then just simply save. Okay, now it is added, but still is going to take some time. It might take a few hours till you see the uh, domain name. When it works, you will see like this: an empty directory. Okay, you will see a directory. You can what you can do? You can install WordPress over here, or you install. Uh, deploy another kind of apps whatever you want this index you can access from the cpanel okay file manager or uh, or you can also use different kind of apps installer to install different kind of apps so this is uh, how you add a c uh, subdomain in the name chip hosting cpanel or any other kind of uh, hosting which uses the cpanel interface to add your subdomain okay um, and i've also showed you how you can do add an a record in the cloudflare uh, cdn so that uh, it connects properly to the domain name so that's how you do it and i hope after watching this video after watching this video you you will be easily to add your subdomain and this video helped have helped you out hopefully so if this video helped you out then please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also please make sure to like this video and i hope you have a very good day 